everyone, I'm John Lin, the founder and chief editor at Healthcare IT Today. We're excited to bring you another in our series of interviews with top leaders in health IT. And we're here at the CES conference in Las Vegas. And our guest is Dr. Ajay Gulati, the CTO of Cami Vision. Welcome, Ajay. Thanks, John. Glad to be here. Yeah, so excited to talk about this interesting product that you're applying to healthcare. Uh, tell us about yourself and Cami Vision. So my name is Ajay Gulati. I am CTO at Cami Vision. I take care of all the technical side in the company, design, development, product deployment, and all such things. Awesome. So what's Cami Vision's product for healthcare? So at Cami, we have built a unique product for healthcare called Cami Care. Okay. And it is essentially a fall detection solution focused on elder care communities. And it's a very simple solution where you can deploy a camera. It's a Wi-Fi based camera. You can set it up in a few minutes. And once you set it up, it can essentially do fall detection and alerting based on that. Interesting. So are you doing this in hospitals, long-term post-acute care? What, what locations in healthcare it's, are you doing? I would say it's right now for elder care communities. We are not in hospitals right now, but any kind of Alzheimer, dementia, memory care, these kind of facilities. Interesting. So the camera's set up in the room and then it notifies uh, the, you know, the caregivers within the elderly care facilities of a fall. And does that go to their EHR? Does it go to a platform? Does it go to their phone? How, how do you uh, notify them? So the notification system, the way it works is once the camera detects a fall, it essentially would upload a video for the fall. So you can oh, okay. see a pre-fall video as well as you can see a post-fall video. And you can set up your own escalation uh, metric. So you can say that, okay, I want to notify person one with email, SMS or phone, person two, person three. And then if the first person doesn't respond or acknowledge, it would escalate it to the next level. And you can define multiple levels of escalation. So typically in a uh, elder care community, it might go to somebody who is um, staff at that time, they're on call and then it might go to another person or eventually the director of the facility if nobody's responding. Yeah. So let's talk about, I mean, that's interesting. You're sending the full footage of that. Feels like privacy considerations are really important there. How have you worked on addressing the privacy considerations? Sure, that's a really good question. So what we do, John, is first of all, the AI itself runs on the camera. So the camera essentially is running the AI, so no video is leaving the camera unless the camera detects a fall. So that is the first thing. The second thing that we do that these cameras are fully locked in the sense that you cannot actually see live view on the camera or anything else. This is basically a fall camera. So that gives us um, security. Third, obviously in terms of IT point of view, we make sure that all the data at rest and data in transit is encrypted. Nobody who is not authorized to see the data won't get access to the data. And the facility admin or the person who is allowed to see the fall footage later on to do any kind of analysis, then they have to log into a secure site and then they can analyze the data and they can look at the footage. Interesting. So let's also talk about like, uh, you know, false positives. I, I think that's another challenge with a lot of the solutions. Anyone that has a ring, you know, app understands false positives because we get notifications about the wind blowing or whatever it might be, right? True, true. What have you done to ensure that there's not false positives that are, you know, wasting nurses' time? True. No, I think that's a very fair concern. Any AI model would have some false positives. Yeah. And the way we really eliminate those is basically we have a human in the loop uh, setup where if the camera generates a fall event, it goes to human in the loop. They do a quick verification. And if they say it's not a fall, that event is completely discarded. If they say it's a fall, only then it goes to the facility and it gets escalated. So we pretty much are able to give 100% uh, accurate falls and it's not something that the facility has to worry about any false positives at all. Wow. I mean, uh, humans, I guess, are still needed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, that's great work. But in a very limited form, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and they don't even realize it's happening if it happens so quickly. So you also offer this solution for the home. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so we first launched the solution for the communities and then we heard from a lot of customers that they also want to use it for home because there is a big push towards aging in place and people want to take care of their parents or grandparents who are at home. So we launched a consumer solution, which is literally a camera that you can deploy at home. It's a simple Wi-Fi based camera with very simple setup and the instructions are in the mobile app. 
and you can set it up using a mobile app and then you can get notifications to yourself on the app or you can share that app uh, details with somebody else and they would get notified. It could be a caregiver, it could be a family member, any relative and we really want to make sure that the technology is easy, easily available for masses. Yeah, and what's the cost and price point for this type of solution? So for the home care, essentially the camera itself is about $49.99 and then there is a monthly subscription of $24.99. So where can people go to learn more? So they can go to um, Cami Vision website. There is a site for Cami Care where we talk about the solution and it gives you all the details about how you can set it up, what does it take to deploy the solution. And it's very easy SaaS based solution to basically set up and consume. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. And thanks everyone for watching and listening. If you want to find more great healthcare IT content like this, be sure to check it out at healthcareittoday.com or search for healthcare IT today on your favorite podcasting application. Thanks, Ajay.